Right, Easter, 17th April 2022. Gorgeously warm, a bit breezy, but that just makes it pleasant in a t-shirt, I suppose, to excessively hot. So, lots of rhubarb. Um, I've been sorting out the strawberries today and put some of the compost over them. Uh, okay, let's go back here. Okay, so we've got the strawberries sorted out so they look better. And I've also tidied up by the croissants, which I really need to move. The asparagus, a few spears coming up. Might actually get a meal this year. Um, the fleece has got lettuce under it, uh, which I'm going to eat at some point. I've been, you can see how the fruit is going. The um, black currants are in flower. So are the gooseberries. Uh, the raspberry has gone berserk. Lots and lots of it. The tabri, not so much. I've dug out the goji berry and replaced it with a blueberry that I was given. I'm not too certain in how happy it's going to be, but I've dug in lots of the anaerobic digestive compost because I think it likes lots and lots of humus in its surroundings. So um, let's see how it gets on. Uh, there isn't anything planted in here at the moment. Have to. Um, it'll have to have quite a number of things in it because I'm running out of space, as ever. I've got spinach, beet, which um, has still got lots that can be eaten, so I'm really quite reluctant to just pull it up and throw it away. I'm going to have to look up lots of recipes for it to, so that I can eat it. Um, I've been sorting out the herbs, and they are a bit tidier, honestly, than they were some time ago. I've cut back the sage a lot. Um, the vines, I've got buds that are opening. Um, what else have I got here? Oh yeah, lovely parsley. So underneath this bit of fleece, there's the sweet peas. There's a couple exposed at the end because I didn't have quite enough fleece at the time. And then beyond them, I've got the broad beans, which I opened up from being under fleece a couple of days ago and I've tied up. So what happened with them is they grew much too tall in the backyard and started flowering. I moved them to here, put them under fleece. Some of them, the first shoots have survived, others it's clearly died. But there's a second one coming, which is in flower. So I'll get something to eat, I should think. And the sweet peas are fine as well. Um, so what's under that bit of fleece is the onions and shallots. Just in case it gets a bit chilly for them and anyway stops things pulling them out. This bit here, if you can see slender green leaves, that's um, Bath asparagus coming up for the second year. I think it takes about five years to make a decent sized bulb to produce something that you can eat. Um, but you know, it's um, going. So here I've got a couple of corn flowers need to be moved and some more for time. So, sort of the project for this year is to get all these flowery bits sorted because they're really, there's not enough space for things and it's all a bit all, all over the place. So, I'm going to put quite a bit of digging that out, I think. And I need to see if I can organise something a bit better for the games. Um, and then finally, I've got uh, the, the last of the kale. It is flowering, but it's also got edible leaves. so. Going to be working my way through that uh, and also adding it to my compost heap. So there we are. Oh, a couple of leaks as well. I've eaten some of them on there as well. So here we are, the allotment. Uh, today, lovely and sunny, lots of insects around, a bit breezy. And uh, yeah.